Welcome to Hue. This is a puzzle game where you use like a wheel of colors to figure out puzzles, I believe. And it's a recommend use controller. I'm using mouse and keyboard, but I did change some keys. So let's press any key to start. And here we are. We're just a boy from a poor family. No, hey. I was not gonna, he's gonna teach me how to play in a second. I'm like, I'm gonna use my code wheel now. I cannot. Ooh, my mouse kind of flickered. That's weird. Dearest Hugh. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Gray tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Gray, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Um, is that supposed to be my mother? Question mark? And here we are, we're just sleeping in the house. So peaceful. Oh no, we're getting waking up. Oh, we can move. Alright, what's going on? It's raining outside. Okay, we got a boat, got some cages. Okay, we talked to you. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Alright, something unusual. Down past the lighthouse, okay. So let's go past the lighthouse then. So, and down pads, and where we go? We got a shard. We got the color blue. Cool, what does that do for us now? Okay, so that's one color on our wheel. How many more do we have? Ooh, look how pretty it is. Oh, letter. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. Oh no, it goes back to the concept is what's yellow to you may not be yellow to me or maybe a different shade of yellow. So it's just like if you're teaching someone colorblind colors, you can't do it. Uh, let's get into that theory that what you see may others. Oh, jeez. Alright, there's a blue, but now we're in the caves. We have blue crystal. Hi, miner. What are you gonna say? Hello? Hugh, is that you? Yes, it is. Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I might switch a blue, am I? I keep hearing noises. It's creeping me out. So, I go. And I shift to blue. Look at that. The rocks, they, they just disappeared? Yep, I did it. All me. No help needed. I don't know how you did it. Don't ask questions. You don't want to know an answer to. Who cares? I'm safe. There you go. Thank you. Alright, now what? You just gonna walk right past? I love the art style for it. That looks so cool. It reminds me when you had to do shadows of yourself for school and you trace it. Alright, so we need y'all get down there, which we cannot, so we have to go up here and find another one. And that'll be through here. So we gotta switch to blue, and our note. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. So far as good like voiceover, it sounds real good. Music's real calming and chill, like puzzle games should be. And now we're into a dark grey world. Uh hello. What do you have to say? Oh hello there. You startled me. I'm sorry if I did. I'm just resting my legs. Looks like it. 
Don't play too close to the water now. And jump over. And hew it up. There we go. See, we're all good now. And we go through into the next area. Where there's more blue to be had. And we go all the way down. I can't wait for more harder puzzles. We have more colors. So now we can pull this. I was thinking the mouse button for had to be like my color wheel, so I chose it. I mean, it's still not a bad key. I would maybe chose E. I don't know. So you gotta go around, but we can't, so we pull it this way. Okay. Hey, come over here. So this is different. I was thinking more of a puzzle puzzle. What did I just say there? A color puzzle game. We got some moving, kind of like trying a little bit. Can I make it from here? Yes, I can. And we got more blue, which I don't want to change yet, because let's move this all the way over here. Because yeah, that's a trick to move it too early. I know. Can I move it just a tad more? I don't know. I guess I stand here and see what happens. Yes, that worked. Wow. First try all the way. Not more to do. So we have to jump and change in midair. Oh. Hmm. What does this do? I'm in slow mode. No, I just fall through it. That doesn't work out for me. I am too dumb for that. Maybe I fall down there eventually from another area. Yeah, let's go with that. So I can probably just make just... No, I cannot make just... Some... Oof. First death. So I have to use the rocks. I, I jump... Oh. oh, they broke my neck. Oh, I got high. Duh. I come over here. I hide underneath here. Make me go blue. They fall down, don't touch them, and they block the spikes. Then I jump on top of them, and I'm fine and dandy. Oh, so now I move, I go over here, I move this one, I change it, because I'm fine. Come over here and jump on top of them. This is a puzzle game I was expecting. How nice and simple. Now I have to quickly run past. I always quickly go, 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 go. Jump over spikes, keep running. Jump over two spikes, we're good. Don't jump over anything. Grab the ladder, because why would it be there if we didn't have to use it? There you go, I would have fell to my death there. Got a potion? What's that for? Good question, huh? Alright, okay. now I gotta go all the way back. Alright, now that we're back. No, what do we do here? Hey, no. What do I do here? Oh, I can just jump over the door. There we go. And let's go into the door. That was simple. What's that potion that I got though? I'm waiting for another letter. Or a old wizard person? Elder? Who knows? Did you take the color? That's mysterious. Should I follow them? I guess I'm going to. Don't have much of a choice, do I? I have a potion. Are you supposed to be the one I give it to or not? Ooh, a purple or violet or indigo. I don't know. And there we go. I wonder what colorblind mode would be for this game. That was an option. Thought about it. I could used to play the old um, Call of Duty games like colorblind mode. Kind of like the turquoise blue and the was the orange is yellow, right? For red? I don't know. I always just played with it. It's a dead end. And if I switch to blue, it's not. Cool. Hey. Eh? Now what? Did you know, Hugh? That purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. Yes, I did. It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. All right. And yes, I did know the purples on a large spectrum. And I believe there are colors where we can see that other animals can see. And... If I can't see her, but is she real? Well, I can't see the wind, but is wind real? Think about that. And here we go. So, I have to go blue here, and then be closed, but I do there. Okay, I just have to keep on switching. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I could do a jumping puzzle. I would be safe and sorry, but... Oh no, good spikes on top. What? And then try that. And there you go. 
first actual puzzle. So we have picked blue here. We pick purple. We pick blue or turquoise, I guess. I don't know what they want to go after. I thought there was a door there, but there wasn't. Spikes. Hmm. Blue, I go through. Purple, oh, there we go. How did I think that went through? I almost screwed up there. All right, we are good. I can't wait for more colors, because that's fun having the colors. Now we gotta change it back. There's a jumping puzzle. Any more? Yep. See, look at that. It's so nice. Oh, crap. It didn't change when I wanted to change. But yeah, you gotta be careful. I gotta wait for it fully change. I can't just like try to be right and don't change that. That'd be a bad idea. Okay, so that's there. So blue's right there. So I have to jump in midair and then turn to purple. That's how you do that part and jump in midair, turn to blue. Okay, that makes sense. And now turn to purple. That's why I died. I just wasn't paying attention enough. So we want blue. So I want to change this blue. I'm sorry, I want, I want to change this to purple. And I want to change this to blue. And where's the purple one? Oh, uh, blue's there. So I gotta change this to blue. After I, hmm. Yeah, okay, so I jump over here, change that to blue, then I got purple. I want to jump up one, change it to purple. It's opposite of what you think. It's whatever the background, okay, right, I gotta go there. All right, whatever the background color is, you want the opposite for these. All right, I almost fell there, and we're good. Now where? Anything? Oh. And I believe I'm on, oh, there's that person again. What do you want? Stop torturing me, stop making me follow you. What do you want? Why are you silent? Man, I'm going crazy. It's too early for this. All right, or too late? Ah, uh, however you perceive it. That's a big flat of stairs for the orange. There we go. Nice orange color. Hmm, how many colors can we actually have now? So we have one, two, three, so it'll be three, six, eight. I'm going with eight. I could be wrong, because I'm usually wrong. Ooh, orange looks real nice in this game. It's orange and black, yeah. I like the sound of that. I like the color of that. Who knows? So there we go. Got yeah, another letter. You just got it laying right there. Even though it's an email the now. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass surrounded by my books and papers when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Maybe she's my older sister, because I still look small compared. It doesn't mean anything, because you could be smaller as an adult and everything. But I don't think it's like a boyfriend relationship wise. Now, where are we at here? I do like the orange the best so far. Alright, we fall down. We got the blue. Now, here's the ladder. There we go, new area. So now we can unlock new areas. Alright, that's yellow, I believe, and that's red. So, we have one choice, but down. Okay, where are we going now? A door, that's where. And that door's in our letter. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted, we laughed. We worked long hours and soon our gold became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us and we knew it. Okay, hopefully that relationship stayed working, but okay. Now what? So he's Dr. Gray, so he's evil because he took the color from the world? Like, why does the color so, like, matter so much in this world? Ooh, and that's purple. I have to come back here later. He has actual purple. Because that's not blue, so there are different shades. Oh, because right here would be that purple. Oh, duh, I was dumb. Because yeah, be these two colors, that's in between. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, would it or be, yeah, whatever. Now we're at, 
We're over here. Don't fall there. That is the right purple, though. I can't get on top of it. There's a box here for something. I guess I need that box. Oh, I can push it. So I do need that box. Push it right over here. Orange. Switch to orange. And I right, can't go on top of that. You go for blue. Ooh, jeez, that could have crushed me. Okay, so I need... Oh, I might have screwed up there. Hmm. Yeah. About that. So that's a nice feature. You can restart your level. But I did screw that up. Because I think... I mean, I maybe could have fixed it. I had to change the round color. But I think I need to put the box more. So I'm going to find up the edge. But yeah. Can I fix it? Maybe. But I didn't feel like dealing with it. So change this. Push this way over the air. Now we could change back to a random color. And we're up here. And we, we want that to fall, I believe. That's the idea. Make you fall. Didn't fall enough, but we have blue. So go for blue. Push you all the way here. Now we're going to need to go to any color, because we're going to jump onto this one. Jump onto blue. And from here, we need to jump onto the, the purple. Switch to blue. Jump onto orange, and we're good. Look at those puzzles come together. I do want to push that, actually, I think. Let's push that down. Yes, I did want to push that. Good thinking on me. Could have been bad if that didn't happen. Push this all the way this way. And switch to blue maybe. Jump on the orange. Look at this. Nice and calm. And we have blue door. So we have to change red colors and into it we go. So now we need purple. Come that way. We need the key. So I think we're fine to do this and one big nope. So we gotta go through it. And then go to orange and push this just a tad. I think I still reach it. Yes. And I reach it this way. No, I want to go through it once again. And then switch to orange because we don't need that orange one anymore. I actually do. So we switch here. Switch to blue. We don't need the door right now because it's just any color. Oh. Yeah, we do. I think this is a good spot to end it. So next episode, if we did another, we would have this puzzle to do. Which I somehow get over there. But yeah, this is a good place to end it. I'm really enjoying this game. Nice chill puzzle game. It's a nice commentary. You give us a nice chill story. Who doesn't like colors? Yeah, controls are pretty good on keyboard. Don't know why they said you need a game pad. But who knows. So like always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Comment down below. Like always, bye. Hmm, I want to play more of this. But it's up to you guys. At least on camera. I can do it off camera all by myself. Oh, there's a map. There was more I could have found potions in each level. Can I go back to them? You can skip there. That's cool.